Hey everyone, today I've got your The Light Between Oceans movie review. A couple who was just recently married is living life with many obstacles until a baby washes ashore and could this be the miracle they have been waiting for? As far as the story goes, this movie is based off of a best-selling novel and I was really curious to know what this movie was all about. It really had an interesting vibe to it. It definitely looked like a good Oscar contender and I had heard some mixed things about it so I was sort of on the fence about seeing this movie but I wanted to hold all of my reservations before seeing this movie because it did look like a very interesting storyline and it already looked like it was beautifully shot and um, besides all of the camera work, I mean this definitely has a great cast to go along with it, but how well did they do exactly in this movie? And I feel like this movie, uh, it doesn't uh, pick up right away with exactly what's going on and it does have a slow beginning and it can be slightly boring to those people who may not have been completely invested in this movie from the get-go and I can understand why maybe the story isn't as uh, interesting even though it does bring up a lot of different things that could hook you in but because you know, the way the movie was edited and made, it really didn't feel like that at first. And so it could leave you uh, to just want to avoid this movie altogether. So as far as the casting goes, you've got Alicia Vikander, who plays this woman who is from this family where she gets married off to this one guy who you know, seems like a perfect match for her and they really hit it off and during this time period that this movie is set in. Uh, she definitely looks the part. She really looks good in, you know, every outfit that she wears. And her character alone, you definitely feel some sympathy with some of the things that happen in her life. And it could bring you to tears. I mean, it definitely brought me to tears at times or it really got me emotional. So you definitely see that playing out in her performance and then alongside Michael Fassbender, who plays her husband, and he's this guy who works on a lighthouse, and so they have this house nearby, and then she can just walk over there if she wants to see him, and then all of a sudden, one day, this baby comes uh, washing to shore, and they don't know who it belongs to, and they decide to take it in and so you see this chemistry between them sort of like going up and down trying to decide okay what's the right thing to do but then they find that the baby's dad uh is dead and so like what are you gonna do about that their relationship uh you know being changed left and right and you want to see them come together because this is a miracle because of what they've been through and now all of a sudden they have this child to take care of even though it's not theirs um, but I did love their on-screen relationship. Then you've got Rachel Weisz who's in this movie and she actually plays the mother of the child that washed ashore so then you get to see her coming in and saying you know this is my child I need to find my child and then nobody really knows what to do except okay you have to do the right thing and give up the child, even though it was just a baby, so now it's all grown up, and years later, this whole thing is just really crazy in this story, but the acting overall was pretty well done. I thought it was the best part of this movie. The things that I did like about this movie, it felt like a really decent romance movie filled with some drama here and there, but maybe too much drama because maybe that's what made it a little bit too boring, maybe a little bit too overdone. There was a lot of heart that went into this movie because you really do get invested in these characters. You may not get invest invested completely into the story, but I did find the story to be one that could potentially be heartbreaking, especially if you're able to watch this movie all the way through. But unfortunately, the things that I didn't really like about this movie, going off what I last said, uh, there wasn't necessarily a soul in this movie, and I feel like that could have helped to embody exactly what was the whole point of this movie. Everything could have been 
uh, shaped better, and I don't think it came down to the editing per se, but I think it was just the way that it was filmed sort of made it seem like, oh yeah, it's just gonna be another boring period drama that, you know, nobody's really gonna care about, and it was slow moving. I mean, it was an over two hour long movie, so I can see why some people would not want to continue to watch it. It may bore you to tears. Overall, I would say that The Light Between Oceans was a decent movie, and it may not have been the best movie this year, even though I was really looking forward to seeing it, but it certainly wasn't the worst. So I could still see myself recommending seeing this movie, and I would have to check out that book. I would give this two and a half hearts on the heart rate scale. So let me know in the comments what you guys thought of The Light Between Oceans. And as always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got more movie reviews, movie updates, coming up week for a trail Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And I will see you guys later.